Okay, real Katsuri Kotagaishi variation five. Um, we're not going to go super fast on this demonstration. This is this this technique is very unique in a sense. It's very much like the last technique that we just did, where it's the real Katsuri. You get the Nikyo technique, and then you roll over into the Kotagaishi. Um, for those of that, for those of you that don't know, when you apply Nikyo. Okay, obviously when you get the Nikyo and, and you, you lock that in nice and tight and it's 100% applied, letting the Uke come back up and trying to transition into the Koltagaishi is really not necessary. It's when the Nikyo application is that shock absorber, but it's not 100% applied, boom, then you roll this over, you tend kind of and you pull the Koltagaishi out of your ass and you throw them. Now, this is one more technique for food for thought when you think about this. How many of you have actually done, you know, whether it's katate dori, kosori, ryokatori, mune dori, and you're getting into this Nikyo application, and it's not 100%, but then you're gonna hen kawaza into koltagaishi, but you let go. Normally, what should happen is the uke should pull his hand away. But what happens is the uke stays connected with you just like a good aikidoka would, okay? But if you look from the perspective of real terms, real world terms, is that when you apply Nikyo, if you don't keep this hand covered on the fingers before you get that first cut, if you loosen that up and you start to cut, he's free to pull his hand out, okay? We're always looking at the actual threat. The threat is his free hand to where he can jackhammer your face with his fist. So I'm gonna show you how to do this when Nikyo fails from the transition from Nikyo into Henkawaza Koltagaishi and how to deal with outside hand that's gonna punch you. So, we're gonna do this slow. So the same thing a real kata, so you move right into this Nikyo application, okay? And this is what I'm talking about. If you loosen this up as you do this, see, he's sticking with me, he shouldn't. Pull away, boom, punch, right? So pull away and punch at the same time. So right from here, he pulls away, what I mean by that is, okay, Nikyo. He applies Nikyo. He lets it go, I'm pulling back and punching right away. There is no pull back and then punch. It's, right, karate type punches. You're pulling back and you're punching. So when this happens, you have this Nikyo. If this is loose, now obviously you can't do this rollover if you're holding on really tight because you have to be able to rotate the, the Uke's wrist. So as you apply this, boom, if this release is too soon, he punches. This is where Sudiage happens to where you defend against that other punch and then pull the guy she gets applied. Okay, so we'll show that again. So, Nikyo application, you roll this, and what might happen is pull back this fast. You might be doing this as that's coming for your face. Okay, so this should be pulled back quickly, boom. Now you gotta look for that transition to that. So you gotta make sure the punch is coming too. So, Nikyo, you move, wham. Pull the Gaishi. Obviously we have to go slow for safety reasons, okay? Because that punch is gonna come very, very quickly. Plus you won't be able to see it as well if it's fast. Okay, so there's different transitions you can do, Nikyo, you can move right into this ukanagashi, this ukanagashi suriage movement, right into koltagaishi, boom. You can do nikyo, boom, suriage without the ukanagashi, right into koltagaishi and throw. Okay, so it's two ways that you can do that. So in this application, if this happens, you move, wham, suriage, koltagaishi. Okay? And also, when I was talking to my guys, typically speaking, when you're doing this technique, you're always thinking the side that you're working off of. So when you're doing Nikyo, you're always thinking this, even though we know that that's the threat, but you're always thinking this to get to the outside to stay away from the threat. You rarely ever see this. From here, he pulls back, and then now you're addressing the opposite side with the actual threat. Because when that hand comes at you and you're doing this and rotating, boom, you got to move quickly. What happens is we get caught up with this and then this, should have pulled that back, here, pull that back, bam, you're getting punched in the face because it happens quick. 
Punches are not time-lapsed. It's not like three seconds later and here comes the punch. You know, that Nikyo happens, boom, you release, you're punching. And it's coming at 100 miles an hour. You gotta think about this. This is a hard technique to train. But this is something that can be very realistic in the real world if you apply Nikyo. When you slap Nikyo on somebody, you know, it's the thing that I just, I just said in class today. If it hurts, it works. Plain and simple. Hashtag Aikido life. If it hurts, it works. If it doesn't hurt, that means that the technique is not being applied properly. I've said this a thousand times. These techniques are designed to inflict tremendous amount of pain, especially small joint pain, to the point that literally it's, your wrist is gonna snap. So when you apply Nikyo, this application, you want that thought process to apply 100% so you don't have the Henkawaza. But this is a Henkawaza technique, so if this fails and you're trying to transition out, Bet your ass that that guy's gonna pull his hand out and he's gonna punch you with the other hand. So you need to be able to be prepared to where you're not being one dimensional in a sense to where you're only looking at one side of the body and you're disregarding the actual threat with the hand that's cocked and ready to nail you in the face. Don't ever think for one second that you're gonna escape that with a Tenkan and avoid being struck because that punch is gonna come a hell of a lot faster than you being able to apply a Nikyo technique on something. On top of that, the pain that you're gonna inflict on Nikyo, even if it's not 100% applied, it's gonna be enough to light his ass on fire, his ass hairs on fire to where he's gonna to wanna to break your nose. So when he pulls that back, he's full determination to punch you square in the face. So that punch is gonna come at like record speed. With no warning, it's just gonna nail you. So you have to be quick about this, okay? So right from there, it's like you have your knee gratification, Oops, there it is, technique, both the guys. Okay, one more time slow. So right away, knee go, right away. And this can move right into other techniques as well, which we'll show you in the upcoming ones. So that was, hey, Arigatimasu. Ryokata Dori, Koltagaishi Variation 5. See you on the next